Hi, Twin Flames. If you are experiencing a dark night of the soul, this reading is especially for you. I'm Lisi. I'm a Master Certified Ascension Coach with Twin Flames Universe. And I also want to let you know I have a special reading that is only available until the end of October, and it's on sale now. It's called the Shadow Reading. So check that out at my website, twinflamesheartsdesire.com. So this is for if you've got a dark night of the soul, you're feeling like you're in massive upheaval and just can't seem to shake that bad feeling. This is going to give you some insight into what the block is, what you can't see, and how to move forward. Okay. The block. What are you facing? Radical acceptance, beloved. So that is card number two. You're not understanding, and you can see here there's like a fire here. So some of you might feel like you're like in the, in the middle of like a hellfire or something. You're not understanding that you are burning away the veils that have shut you out from your heart's desire, from your beloved. It might feel like you're on a, going through hell, right? Um, but what actually is happening is um, the, the thing that's feeling bad right now is the resistance to your good. So, for example, you might be experiencing a dark night of the soul because your twin flame has rejected you on some level or um, looks like they're rejecting you, the external. They're, they're setting a hard boundary with you. They're saying, no, um, I don't want to be with you in this way right now. And that's hurting. And the reason that it's hurting is because you've been trying to go about your twin flame journey the wrong way. You've been looking at them as outside of you. You've been trying to reach outside of you and grab them and bring them towards you. And it's like a cat chasing its own tail. It's just going to, it's going to hurt, right? Like if the cat takes its claws and grabs its own tail, it's going to hurt. And as it brings, as you try to do that, it's just, it's going to backfire. And so that backlash is what you're feeling now. And I know that it sounds like I'm simplifying what you're going through. But the truth is, is that you are one with your twin flame. You're not separate from them. And so if they're telling you or pushing you away in, in some way, shape or form that they don't want to be with you, it's because they're mirroring back to you where you don't want to be with an aspect of yourself and you might not be able to see it. So first and foremost, you need to have compassion for yourself. You can't, if you're feeling really bad, you're, you're not going to be able to like be in your peace so that you can actually see what they're showing you. But first of all, have compassion for yourself. Second of all, surrender and trust that love is real and that you do deserve to be with your twin flame. And that right now, the fastest way through this stuff, beloved, is to accept what's going on, like say, okay, I'm experiencing this in my reality right now. It's not ultimate. It's not the thing that you're going to end up with, but accepting where you're at helps you to move forward through it. Okay. What you can't see, repairing the veil and forgiveness. So this stuff, when you, when you start to surrender, just relax. What you can't see is that you are being repaired. You're your union, which includes you and your twin flame, is being repaired through this, like, it's really like you're, like, detoxing separation consciousness or detoxing codependent patterns, and that doesn't feel good. I mean, think about, like, when people are addicted to drugs and they go through, like, a detox. They have to go to the hospital and they have to take other medication because it's really painful to let go of the drug. For you, you may have been... Um, looking at relationships or your twin flame as like your fix like your you you think that all of your good feelings come from the external and they don't i know that sounds to, to many of you watching this like oh my gosh that's absurd but no your good feelings come from within you you um you have a source within you and that's god and all of your good feelings come from within and when you're Going through the dark night of the soul, I want I want you to navigate it a little more easily, and just um, instead of letting letting a wave like crash you over and tumble you on the sand, and you've got salt water and sand in your mouth, get a surfboard and surf that, right? Like surf that shit. Like don't let these dark nights of the soul 
convince you that your life is over, that your twin flame union is over. That's not true. Your twin flame union is being repaired. It's all of this stuff that's not divine um, leaving your vibration. And that actually brings you closer. If you see these like bows, like if you take this bow here and you tighten it, it brings in the veil closer. So don't worry. There is a rhyme and reason to what's happening. I of eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. So this is what your guidance is telling you. Like, hey, like, look above the veil. Look above what's actually happening and realize that you are releasing what doesn't serve you so that what does serve you can be called in. You can only hold one thing in your heart. It's either love or fear, not both. So you you are letting go of the patterns and beliefs and um etc that don't serve you and, and all of the the patterns that you may have developed that um, were associated with that that's being let go and you're inviting in the new so i have some next steps for you that are concrete um all of the separation consciousness that you're upheaving right now you do require support with like just like a and, and i'm not calling you an addict but it, it does it's a really good analogy like someone who's getting off of drugs needs to go and claim support. You don't do it by yourself, right? Same thing with separation, consciousness, ego. We're all addicted to the illusion of separation. And you, you're not meant to heal that on your own. So claim some support. There's many different points of entry for, you know, wherever you're able to invest your time and energy. Um, you can try Twin Flame Ascension coaching. I've got a couple different options for you. I'm a coach. I can help you. I've helped countless twin flames heal separation. You can look me up in the description box under this video. I've got some deals for you for trying twin flame ascension coaching and the mirror exercise. If you're ready to end feeling bad, if you're ready to stop feeling bad and claim your harmonious twin flame union permanently, try twin flame ascension school. Not just try it, but Go all in, invest in it. You can watch the first few uh, classes for free. I call them episodes. If you go to the Twin Flames Universe website and download the free introductory Twin Flame Ascension course, you're going to get eight lessons, written lessons. It's a very gentle, loving, yet powerful Twin Flame Ascension course teaching you what is separation and how do you heal it. And then at the end of these eight lessons, you'll be given access to the first few recorded classes of Twin Flame Ascension School and Life Purpose class and a few others. So it's free. Go check that out and get the support that you need. Start working through your blocks. Get the book Twin Flames Finding Your Ultimate Lover. It's on Amazon or you can get it at TwinFlamesUniverse.com. Just don't do nothing. If you do anything, get the book. You know, if you do, if you want to go all in, get the school. And then I'd love to support you. So thank you so much. Um, I've been through the dark night of the soul. I know how it feels. It's not fun. But I claimed my support because I was unwilling to feel bad. So don't don't be like sacrificing yourself, right, in the, the pyres of, of your separation consciousness. Like get support. Love you very much. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.